And the Debrinic Channel is back. And Happy New Year, everybody. I want to say thank you for the 25,000 subscribers. You guys rock. And let's get right into it. Today we are talking about Lake Oroville, Lake Folsom, mainly. This is going to be a fairly short video as I got somewhere to be at noon. And it is 10 o'clock, so I am under the gun. And let's go and check out rain accumulation for the next 10 days. You have more storms coming through. 10.6. 8.77 and 7.77 there at Lake Folsom. And I want to talk about this is really good for the drought. If this rain continues to fall, this will be good, but this will be bad in the mountains because of landslides and whatnot. I heard there was a landslide last night. Thank you, Big Dog, for that tip. Mammoth Lake's down here, 5.3. Groveland, 5.69. Sacramento, check this out, 5.44 in the next 10 days. Tropical Tidbits is not showing the 16-day forecast as I'm doing this way early in the day today. Let's check out your inflows at Folsom. This is pretty impressive, and Folsom has really come up in the last day. I want to show you what I'm talking about. As we roll out to Lake Folsom, you can see that this thing has come up so quickly. It was at 420.88 feet last night, and now it's at 427.69 feet. That's over 6 feet, almost 7 feet that this thing has risen in the last 11 hours. That's incredible. Your CFS were they were at 106.075 and they actually went up to 106.84 and now they are slowly starting to peak off. This was your peak. Right around 10 o'clock last night and it has come down to 54,789. That is still a lot of inflow, but you're still Still releasing 7,271, so we will watch that. Let's go see the graph real quick. You can see that it has increased 8.83 feet in the last 24 hours, and it has actually surpassed the 2022 mark. If we come over here, you can see that it is now 427.69, and it was at 426 last year at this time. So this thing has really come up, and it's going to continue to come up the rest of the day, and there is a ton more rain coming in the forecast as we just showed you. Let's go down to Lake Oroville next. Lake Oroville still on the rise as well. As you can see it was 701.42 now it's 704.64 in 12 hours. This thing has come up three feet. Your inflows have started to decrease. They're not releasing any water out currently. 30,025 and your inflows are currently 24,108. It's about half of 50,000 that they released at the dam in 2017 if you recall. We were at 54,000, which is an impressive amount, but Folsom has definitely got more precipitation. You can see your rain inches, rain inches there, 14.4 inches there. Let's roll out to the graph and see what's currently going on there. Lake Oroville's water level, 704.39 feet MSL, Sunday, January 1st, 2023 at 7 a.m. Level is 195.61 feet below full pool of 900, so we are under 200 feet finally, and we are 360. 63 feet away and if we come over here you can see it definitely beat 2021 but it has not got to 2022 we are 10 feet away from that so we'll be watching actually around nine feet and change so we'll be watching that as well so let's roll down to lake shasta as well lake shasta's water level is currently 927.49 feet and you can see your inflows are 16,425 and your outflows are 413 and they had outflows of 12,006. The highest is currently 16,425 so that fluctuates quite frequently. You can see that sometimes it's higher, sometimes it's lower. I'm not sure why that fluctuates. I don't think there's any other bodies of water up above it to slow it down. So let's roll now to the snow graph next. As we roll out to windy.com, we are back here again to look at the snow amounts. 53 inches here. South Lake Tahoe, 62. Bear Valley, 53. Bridgeport, 56. We can see up here by Lake Oroville really has gone away. There was a lot more here the other day. It was 40 plus. So down here, there's more snow. Up here, there's not as much snow. So 32. Up here, 47. Chester, 33. Caribou, my friends out in California, what is your snow level at your house that live in the mountains? Over by Truckee, 53 inches. Inches. South Lake Tahoe, 68. So you get the gist. There's quite a bit of snow down here as there wasn't before. And they 
have, let's go back to the new snow coming. And you can see that there's quite a bit of snow coming. It's not near as aggressive as it was before. Let's check the GFS and see if it's any different. And the GFS is actually showing way less. And they're probably showing more rain accumulation as we roll in here. So you can see that the GFS is showing more rain. So we'll be watching this and check this out. They're still calling for another 11.6 there at Lake Oroville and 10.44 at Lake Folsom. So this is starting to become a worry situation because there's still storms out in the 16 days. If you go back on Tropical Tidbits, you can see that there's way less. I'll do that tomorrow. I am short on time today. So let's go see what the snow graph looks like at the snow map and see how much it has come up with this last storm. So you can see that this was at 44% at Lake Trinity here, and it has come up to 139%. South Central, 68%, which is incredible. That is a huge jump compared to what it was. It was in the 50s, if I recall. And look down here at South Sierra. You're talking 73%, 209. So this thing has really come up. And look at the water equivalent. So we go to, this was 13.3, so this is why it barely increased there. This was at 13 and change, and it come up to 18.2. So this singers really come up and this was at 13 and some change so it's come up to 16.4 and your statewide summary is 16.4 63% for the average as we get we're January 1st so April 1st is still four months out from today we might be above the snowpack by the end of the season so there is positive news coming out of Lake Oroville that is all I have for today I have to be leaving the house here in about an hour or so so you guys have a blessed day and thank you guys for stopping by and we will see you back tomorrow i'm surprised i was able to get a video done today pretty impressive you guys are great thanks again for the twenty-five thousand, and we'll see you on the next one stay safe god bless